five, four, three, two, one. Ah, uh, uh, hey, Jeff. Hi, Chip. Uh, what are you up to this weekend, man? What am I up to this weekend? Well, Chip, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. I know a lot of people say that as a sort of weak attempt at humor, but I'm being serious. I would really have to kill you. I'd have to make you disappear. Permanently. You might think of me as Jeff, the good-natured new guy in data processing, but I am a deadly killer, in doctrine in the ways of the assassin. You need an example? I could come silently at night. Your wife and your children wouldn't hear a sound. Your dog wouldn't even stir. You would just be gone, as if you never existed. No trace, no clues. The local authorities would scratch their heads in puzzlement. We don't even know where to start, they would exclaim. It's as if he's disappeared into thin air. I am not joking. Unlike the hilarious IT guy who tells you, I could show you how to turn on your out-of-office assistant, but then I'd have to kill you. I've actually watched the life fade from a man's eyes. Not once, but many, many times. Your IT friend thinks he knows what this is like, but the thousand plus hours he's invested in Halo don't even compare. Also, after that IT guy ends up telling you how to operate your out-of-office assistant, you probably exchange pleasantries and then go your separate ways. This is not how it will go down if I tell you how I'm spending my weekend. Because as I mentioned before, if I were to do that, I would have to kill you. For real, and forever. It wouldn't be a choice, it would be an automatic reaction. Like pulling your hand back from a hot stove. It could be that quick too. It might involve something as ordinary as a shoehorn. That's funny, is it? It makes you giggle. There are 95 things even more mundane than a shoehorn. Things you might find even more hilarious. And the more we talk about this, the closer I get to telling you about my weekend activities, and then, my friend, this game we're playing, this little dance, will be over. Once you hear about my weekend, you'd better make sure you are never alone, that you always stay within the safety of a crowd. Make sure to keep your back to the wall and your eyes on the doors and windows at all times, and never enter a room without knowing where the exits are. Make sure someone walks you to your car, or better yet, don't use your car at all. Make sure to test your food for poison before you eat it. Don't trust your neighbor, your mailman, your clergyman, your pet. What? You don't think I can disguise myself as a pug? You don't know the half of it. But do your best, Chip. Put yourself on guard 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. It still won't be enough. Because it will slip your mind, and when it does, the very moment you let your guard down, I'll be there and it will be over. So before you ask me about my weekend again, Chip, maybe take a moment and go to the conference room to have a slice of Debbie's Happy Friday chocolate cake and another Diet Coke. Weigh your words carefully, and then tell me. Do you really want to know? Definitely not, man. No. Are you kidding me? No. You just stared at me in silence for two and a half minutes. You're a freak, dude. No, everybody thinks that you're a freak. I was being polite. Don't do shit like this. Okay. All right? Okay. 